Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you an easy fix if you're having problems pairing your Bluetooth speaker to your Android mobile cell phone. Now at the moment when I turn Bluetooth on here it doesn't recognise the speaker at all, it doesn't even come up in the settings. Yet when I go onto the iPod here it recognises it straight away and then I can play music from here on to the Bluetooth speaker. Now if this is happening to you, you can reset the network settings and that will basically reset your Bluetooth. The downside of it is it also resets your Wi-Fi. So you will have to re-enter your Wi-Fi password. So let me just show you how it's not working. So if we turn on the Bluetooth speaker, when I turn it on, it should automatically go into pairing mode. So now that's looking for other Bluetooth devices. Then on my phone, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to Bluetooth. I'm going to turn it on. Now, this should now be looking for near by devices, but it doesn't matter how long I leave this, it will not find the speaker. Now, while that's just doing that, I'm just going to show you it connected on here. So, if I go to settings here, go to Bluetooth, turn on Bluetooth, you will see after a few seconds it recognizes it here. Tap on it. There we go, and now it's connected through onto the Bluetooth speaker, but on this one here, it still hasn't found it at all. So let's disconnect it, and then I'm gonna show you a fix that will hopefully work. So I'm gonna turn Bluetooth off. Right. So what we need to do is, you need to go into settings, and you need to go down to where it says backup and reset, and just tap that. And now we're gonna to go to Network Settings Reset. So we're gonna tap Network Settings Reset, and it just tells you that this will reset all network settings, including Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. So we're gonna to go to Reset Settings, and we've gotta enter in our PIN number. Right, Reset All Network Settings. You can't undo this action. And it says here, network settings have been reset. Right, let's see if we can connect up to the Bluetooth now. So again, we're gonna go into settings, go to Bluetooth, turn it on, and let's see if it picks it up. It's still in pairing mode here. Right, so it's still not picking it up, so I'm just gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna turn the Bluetooth speaker on and off again. Right, so it's now off, so I'm gonna turn it back on. And I'm going to turn Bluetooth on. Okay, so we're still failing to connect, so we're going to turn the phone off and then back on again and see if that sorts it out. Right, so into Bluetooth again. Here we go, and now it's picked it up this time, Pulse X. So tap it, and we'll say pairing, connecting, excellent. And now if we have a look up the top, you will see that the Bluetooth symbol now has two dots either side of it, so it has connected. If you're having trouble connecting your Android phone to your Bluetooth device, first thing to do, just turn the phone on and off, because if it was working fine and it's not working now, just try turning the phone off and on again. If it doesn't work then, do your network settings reset and hopefully it should start working. If it still doesn't work after the network settings reset, again, turn the phone on and off again like I did in this video and then it picks it up after that. And now when we want to connect it up to the Bluetooth speaker again in the future, it should connect automatically. So go down here, I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth back on again and now I'm gonna turn on the speaker. and hopefully within a couple of minutes that should connect up. And there we go, it's done it automatically. You see here now it says Pulse X. So let's say now if you're still having trouble with the Bluetooth, let's say the Bluetooth could possibly be faulty in the actual phone. With most Bluetooth speakers, you will also get a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And if you have a look, often on the speakers there will be an AUX input. So if I was to plug one end of the 3.5 millimeter cable into there, and then the other end into the headphone, now I know this is not ideal because obviously now you've got a wired connection, but at least you can still use your speaker with your phone. Now let's say if you still want a wireless version, but you don't want to use the cable and the Bluetooth's gone faulty in your phone, then what you can do is you can buy these little Bluetooth transmitters. 
for about, I think this one was about 16 or 17 UK pounds from Amazon. And uh, they're really, really simple to use. And basically, again, you don't need to have the Bluetooth on on your phone because this is the Bluetooth thing that's going to connect to here. So what we would do is we would plug in this into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up here. And then we want to put this into pairing mode. So to do this on this particular adapter, we just need to hold down the on and off button over here for about six seconds. And the, it will go to a blue light to begin with and then it will go blue and red. There we go, so now that's in pairing mode. And what we need to do is turn this on here. Oh, this is already on. So that's gonna be looking for it now, so hopefully they will pair up. There we go, and now you see it's paired up. It's not flashing blue or red anymore. And again, we can now play the music from the phone to the speaker over here. I am a fool even though we haven't got Bluetooth connected. So if you have a look up the top, there's no Bluetooth connected. So there's a few little ways that you can still get your Bluetooth speaker and equipment to work with your Android phone, even if you're having problems with the Bluetooth. So hopefully one of those ways will work for you guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.